Take the chain, boys to men. We are learning. All right, family, what's good? It's your boy. Back with yet another video. Welcome back to Suits and Sense. Thank you for tuning to the channel. First time viewers, truly appreciate your uh, cooperation and you know checking the channel out. Continue viewers, continue subscribers. Much love, fam. Thank you for staying aboard this love train. All right, okay. Let's get to this uh, video. Today video is going to be about, well, the title is going to be, I'm going to give you seven fragrances that changes boys to men. All right? We all go through that transition. Okay? Remember that song by New Edition? These are the things that change boys to men. No, I'm always trying to sing. All right? But that's going to be today's title. Got seven fragrances for you. All right? Seven fragrances that changes boys to men. Now, some are gonna be oh, some are gonna be um, not so aggressive, and some are gonna be aggressive. All right, so we're gonna try to cover all areas. All right, so don't go nowhere. Come on back here. Let's get to these fragrances. All right, fam. First, let's get this out the way. I always got to put this in there. Pineapple juice, candle, pineapple juice. It's a necessity. It should be a necessity in your lifestyle, especially in today's day and age. It really should, okay? Do the research on as far as your lungs and coat. That's all I'm going to say, all right? Let's get to the fragrances. First, we're going to the house of Georgioff, and it's Fars. Now, I think this fragrance is an excellent fragrance that you can give to a young man that's in his transition stage. Beautiful fragrance because it came out in 2012. Um, it should run at the maximum 150. Should be no, especially for this size, should be no more than that. No more than that at all. Now, the reason why I say this is an excellent fragrance because it's, it's woody, it's uh, aromatic, it got a fresh spice going on to it. And in the opening, you get the woody and the fresh spice mixed together. And then on the dry down, the dry down, it comes with something nice. Because um, you got that sandalwood that comes in there and adds a little sweetness to it. Just a tad, but just a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Like I tell you, I'm giving you seven fragrances that changes boys to men. Okay? They're not... Um, you know, we 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 step we we we're in a transition from you know the other stuff to some new stuff. All right, okay. Now, in here, you, in the opening, you got lavender, juniper, and bergamot. That bergamot with that lavender and that floral, oh, man, is, is is beautiful. It really is. In the middle, you got some geranium, jasmine, and cedar. All right, that's the woody notes. And that woody notes with that uh, bergamot in the opening. Mwah. Knockout. And then closing out, you got some agar, some patchouli, some um, cypriol, sandalwood, and vetiver. Don't get me wrong when I tell you about this scent. It's, it's inexpensive. That's the main thing. It's inexpensive. And it's a really, really nice scent. Really nice scent. You will not be disappointed. Ah. Yeah. Nice scent. All right. That's the seventh spot, okay? Let's get to number six. All right, family. Next, we're going to the House of Novices Parfums, and it's Arcanium. Mm. When, when you, like my mama used to tell me when I was coming up, when I was, you know, coming into, uh, when I was starting from going to uh, 12 to 13, being a teenager, she used to always tell me I'm smelling myself. And for the longest time, I never knew what that meant <laughs> until one day, you know, I thought I was big and bad or whatever, right? Man, she, my mama hit me upside the head. I ain't gonna say what she used, but she hit me upside the head. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, I wasn't smelling myself no more. <laughs> man, I'm trying to tell you. But if a young man is, tra is transitioning from, you know, boys to men and he starts smelling himself, he might as well smell awesome doing it, right? Arcanium, beautiful scent. 
came out in 2020. This should run you. This should run you. Okay. The lowest I seen was 130. The highest I seen was 210. All right. So do your research and you'll find it. But in here, the vanilla, the cinnamon, and the amber. Oh, man, that's that's a nice, you know, you, some people always say grown man scent. This is a nice young man scent. It really is. It's, it's mature. It's sophisticated. You know, for a nice young man that got himself together. He ain't out there. Now, don't get me wrong. With these fragrances I give you, you're not walking around with your pants hanging off a tail. All right? Scratch that. All right? Miss me with that. No, it's not happening. Okay? Mm -mm. Don't do it. Please, don't disrespect the fragrances. All right? Now, Arcanium. And here we got, in the opening, we got some cinnamon, albanum, and coconut. Oh, man, that's just, a, that is a beautiful opening. Cinnamon, albanum, and coconut. I love coconut. And then you got that cinnamon, yes. And in the middle, we got some osmanthus, some lactation, some, uh, lactation ooh, some labdomum, closing out vanilla, tonka bean, and amber wood. The ooh that's in here is, is not rough, it's not hard, it's sweet, it's mellow, because you got the cinnamon, you got the coconut, you got the vanilla, so that that mellows that ooh out completely, but the ooh just adds a little mm to it, just a little bit, it's a little mm to it, and, and I'm telling you, try this, don't sniff, smell slowly, okay, Arcanium, alright, let's get to number five. All right, family, next we're going to the house of Stefan Hubert Lucas. And the fragrance is none other than Black Gemstone. Ah, oh, man. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now, this fragrance was under the radar. For me, it was. I can only speak for myself. It was under the radar. And it snuck by me. And when I first um, got a whiff of it, um, uh, my, my girls at Neiman's was trying to push it on me, but I wasn't interested in that because I had my eyes on something else. So I really didn't give it a true, uh, a true testing, if that's the words you want to use. But when I got back to it, yeah, bam, man, nice. Hmm. Price range, the highest I seen it was 300. The lowest I seen it was 148. Okay, do your research, search around, you'll get it, all right? Now, in here, in the opening, you got some cedar and some lemon. In the middle, you got some resins and some myrrh. Closing it out, you got some teak wood, olibanum, and tonka bean. Um, it is woody, it's balsamic. Um, I'm not even gonna say it's it's uh, citrus or it, it's it's somewhat fresh, a little spicy with the resins, but it's just a different, unique scent. Right, it's a good transition fragrance for a change from a boy changing from from a boy changing to a man. Excellent, really, really good scent. Okay, and uh, I don't think you you will if you if you're a father and you buy this for your son and you coming up with him. Then again, you know I don't think you'll probably pay that price point if not. You can get it on sale for the one something. Then yeah, boom. Beautiful scent for him, you know. Some he might have to get accustomed to, but like I say, you change it from boys to men, all right? Our scent DNA and our scent profile has to change with it, okay? All right, let's get to the next one. All right, family, next we're going to the house of Tom Ford and it's Tobacco Oud. You might think that Oud or the note of tobacco might not be good for, you know, a young man transitioning from boy to man. But actually, I think it is because in this one, it's not as potent, you know. It's not potent of tobacco like, say, for uh, Amwash Royal Tobacco or um, uh, that other uh, Black Iris is one of them like that. It's not potent a tobacco like that. No, it's not. This one is, you know, nice and kind of mellow. Well, then you'll probably say, well, why didn't I use tobacco vanilla? Because everybody has tobacco vanilla everybody this tobacco ooh everybody doesn't have because you know they a lot, a lot of people i ain't gonna say a lot but some people i've read didn't like the scent dna i think it's beautiful and what stands out to me in this is that whiskey oh man that whiskey is absolutely beautiful it really is and it's a fragrance that's distinctive and it'll stand out you transitioning from boys to men right that's what you're doing okay 
Now, this came out in 2013. Okay, the price thing is a little tricky because this is now uh, discontinued and I don't think they're making it anymore. So if you do purchase it, it's gonna have to be off one of the websites, all right? And they more than likely, you know, as a better term for words, gonna price gouge you, okay? But I did see it for 170, okay? Everywhere else was in, you know, three and up. So if you want to get it, do your research and you'll find it, okay? And here, like I said, you got in the opening, you got that whiskey, absolutely marvelous. Then you got some spicy notes, some cinnamon, and some coriander in the middle. Closing out, you got the tobacco and the oud, which are blended perfectly. Then you got that sandalwood to add a little sweetness to it. Got some incense and patchouli to calm the oud and tobacco down. And benzoin, vanilla, add some more sweetness and some cedar to add the woody notes. Where this is now, I truly don't understand why they discontinued this because it was still. You know, and high, a high commodity fragrance, and everybody still wanted it. So I, I don't understand. Well, maybe because of the tobacco and the oil, a lot of people didn't like it. Some people did, but I think it was a really beautiful scent. Okay, all right. Let's get to the next one. Top on deck. We're going to the House of Creed. Now, this is a decamp from uh, Neiman Marcus from the Creed stand. Okay. Hey. If you can get a decant, get it because you're going to save yourself a lot of money. Okay. Now, this fragrance is none other than Boys de Portugal. All right. Now, you see, I done went through half the bottle. Might have to re up on that one. Came out in 1987. The price point, now for this decant, this was like uh, the low twos. Okay. But check on the website. You can get a full bottle at a cheaper price. You truly can. All right. But this is just a Oh man, look, it's citrus, it's a little woody, it's aromatic, beautiful scent. Now, if you go to the department store, you're gonna pay the high twos, maybe low threes, all right? But Boys to Portugal is one of the scents that I think is an excellent transition fragrance because I truly believe that this is a confidence booster for a young man that's trying to find himself. And you're trying, you know, and he's going from you know, the transition, things that's changing from boys to men, all right? And boys to Portugal, beautiful scent. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, I right, in the opening here, we got the bergamot. Like I said, it was citrus. And then you got the floral in the middle with the uh, lavender. And then closing it out, we got some sandalwood, cedar, vetiver, and some uh, ambergris. Now, with those notes being said, you get all of them. And none of them are faint, none of them are overbearing the other ones. It's just a well put together, mature scent. It really is. All right, beautiful scent. Okay, all right, let's get to the next one. All right, family, next we're going to the house of uh Nishine and it's Hachivat. Now, a lot of people compare this to Aventus, okay, which is true, it's just very, very true. You know, the scent DNA is very, very similar. Only thing that's different is the price point. All right, a vintage, you're going to pay close to three. This one, you should pay no more than 150 But you're still getting a good quality. Good, good quality scent, all right? With the citrus, the uh, uh, pineapple, lime, and all this stuff, same DNA, same effect, all right? Just a different price point. This came out in 2017, I believe, okay? Now, um, with all the fragrances that I'm giving you, the longevity is great. Well, actually, the longevity is beautiful. The sillage is beautiful. The projection is beautiful. With all the fragrances, you won't be disappointed and he won't be disappointed. And you don't have to overspray on him. You know, like I say, I'm an oversprayer. Matter of fact, I'm the king of overspray. I have a video on that. I'm the king of overspray on Hachivat. And here you in the opening, you got pineapple, grapefruit, bergamot. The pineapple, that's what does it. I'm telling you, pineapple is a beautiful scent. You know, uh, Aventus is the king. That, you know, that's what started. Then in the clothes, you got some cedar, some patchouli, some jasmine. In the base, you got oak moss and some woody notes. The pineapple and the woody notes um, with the uh, little bit of that jasmine and that patchouli to calm everything down. That is really good scent. Really, really excellent transition scent at a nice price point. So you're not paying a lot of money, but you're giving him good quality. All right. Inexpensive, good quality. Can't get no better than that. Inexpensive, good quality. I'm just saying, okay? All right, let's get to the next one. All right, family, for this last one, 
Yeah, I dropped a bomb. I had to go heavy on you. I went zero dark 30 with you. Black Afghano. Listen, if we're going to bring him in, bring him in right. Give it to him. Boom. Let him have it. Let him feel it. Let him know. Black Afghano from the house of Nasimato. Look, everybody should already know about this uh, scent there and the main ingredient that's in it that gives it its distinctive scent. Okay? When you um when you breaking it down to them, if you get them this, let them know. Alright? Because I'm quite sure everyone has smelt the original before. And you <laughs> this really doesn't smell like that. So when you tell him the note, we're like, no, it doesn't smell like this. Just smell it and see. And when it dries down, when it dries down, that's where the magic happens. Alright? Now, price point, this should run you no more than 150. Alright? No more than 150. Like I say, good quality, inexpensive. Alright? You can't beat that. Good quality, inexpensive. Okay? Alright. And here, in the opening, you got the cannabis. Okay, of course. Which I said, you know. Uh, you got some green notes in the middle. You got some resin, some woody notes, tobacco, and coffee. That coffee and that tobacco. And the, oh man, absolutely beautiful. Then closing out, we got some agarwood and some incense. Now you would think with the cannabis, the tobacco, the coffee, and the oud, that it would be just rambunctious and just overwhelming to where you can't wear it. Man, don't get me wrong. If you spray too much of this, that is the effect that you will accomplish. But two sprays two sprays and it's good and then let it dry down and let the magic happen and pow, there it is all right okay family i gave you my seven all right tell your boy what you think about it like i said i gave you seven fragrances where boys to men all right, seven fragrances where boys are changing to men. These are the things that change boys to men. Right? There we go. First time viewers, once again, thank you for tuning into the channel, Suits and Sense. Um, of course, I want you to hit that subscribe button, but before you do, go back, check out some of the previous videos from Suits and Sense. See how it hits you. Let me know what you think. All right? Then hit that subscribe button. Support your boy. To my continued viewers and family, much love, family. Hey, can't stop, won't stop. I consider you my family. I hope you consider me your family. Get on the love train. We're not stopping, okay? To the next video, family. Deuces.